Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter. Today we're looking at a slider from FNV and it is called the S100A and they make several different sliders. So I'll be putting uh, all the links to them on my website under this video. But this particular one comes in at around $360. And at this point I've reviewed a lot of different sliders. Um, I've reviewed ones from Canova, um, Gear Contact, uh, there's a bunch of different ones, camera R, um, just to name a few. And this one is similar to a lot of the Canova sliders that you can find out there, with one exception. This one is built much better, in my opinion, when it comes to the machining and the just the quality of the actual aluminum and metal. The carriage, everything about it is completely metal, and I found that it is really, really smooth. Uh, I have a couple things I didn't like as much, but there's a lot of things I do really like. So. Let's start with the lock. You have a nice lock knob right here, and uh, that's going to obviously unlock the carriage and allow it to move freely. Um, I found it was a lot easier to get smoother shots on this than the Canova. Um, something about you know the, the four ball bearings that they use on this unit make it very easy to manually get a nice slide. The one thing I didn't like is the little locking unit here. Um, it's just different than a lot of other ones. A lot of other ones, you keep tightening till it stops and then it doesn't move. This one, I mean here it's moving, I turn it just a little bit, it's locked. So uh, the temptation is to keep turning this because this will continue to turn even after it's locked. And there is a very uh, somewhat fragile, um, I guess this is nylon or plastic uh, quarter 20 thread that allows you to tighten and loosen it. And because it's not made of metal, it's a little fragile. So mine is bent a little bit because Again, I, I felt like it kept needing to turn when it really didn't. So be careful about that. And there is a reason it's not metal because we don't want to screw down and damage the side of the slider. So the idea here is that it tightens down, it keeps it from moving, but it doesn't damage your slider at all. So the knobs are really nice on this unit and I found them to be you know, easier to use than a lot of other smaller ones out there. They are very, you know, have a nice uh, plastic knob here. Um, the carriage can just feels like it holds more weight and it doesn't flex as much the entire unit. And I really like that. You have a nice um, bubble on the side here for leveling everything. And then the other thing you'll notice if I spin this around here is that the slider is offset. And I actually should spin my camera around. I just wanted to have you guys see the lock. But if I spin it like this, you'll actually notice that the plate here is offset. It's not directly under the slide. It's slightly off to the side. And the reason for that is a camera alignment. It puts less stress right on the main um, area, especially since a lot of the time your camera might be like this where all the weight is off to one side. So it's nice to have this offset. And it's also just easier to see everything. You can uh, manually work with everything. It doesn't interfere with your tripod knobs. That's something else I've noticed about a lot of sliders is um, your knobs and your you know points of adjustment end up interfering with the slider or the slider interferes with it. I also have the bag here with me. It's a nice bag, it fits really well. Another criticism I would have though is that with the feet, which we're about to attach, um, you can't really fit into the slider. So you're going to have to remove the feet, um, but that's really not an issue. And they've also given you nice little pockets inside of the slider for holding everything. So in the slider here, I'm holding the two knobs for attaching the legs to the slider. That's the other thing I would like to see is a way to keep the knobs with the feet. Because I can see where you could easily lose these two things and be in trouble. So we'll set the bag down. And the feet um, have little grooves so they lock really nicely down onto the slider. So I'm gonna try to do this here. Hold this one guy here. And just thread this on. And for those of you that have watched my Shark S1 uh, slider review, you'll know that I really like to have um, much larger feet on the end of my slider, just because I really like to be able to do this on, use the slider on any terrain. And these are perfect. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said I like to have really nice uh, feet on each end of the slider for all terrain. These things are animals. You have multiple points of adjustment, really flexible. Um, this is fully set out and you could easily just loosen these up and uh, put them like this if you don't want them sticking out as much so that you have a nice compact you know, end to your slider. So 
Really like that about the slider itself. So I got a couple shots with this and I uh, actually went on my balcony because I saw we had a beautiful sunset and it's the winter time here in Chicago. So that's not all that um, common because we have terrible weather. Um, but I took it out there and I did a couple different shots. And one thing that I really liked was actually switching the slider so it was in line with the tilt on my tripod and did kind of a reveal shot where I was diagonally revealing uh, with the camera on the slider. And because the slider was so strong, it just worked beautifully. There was no flex. I didn't feel like um, the slider or my tripod was having an issue with the camera weight. And between this end of the slider and this end of the slider, there's almost no flex. This thing is an absolute animal. So I really like that about FMV sliders. Um, they do have several different options, so you don't have to expend, you know, $500. You can start at a really reasonable price, around $200, and work your way up depending on the weight usage you're going to be using. One other thing I will say is that this slider is a little noisier than other sliders out there that I've worked with. So if you're going really slow, you're not going to notice it, but if you're kind of going like this, you can probably hear that on my mic you're going to have a little more noise. So if you do a lot of filming where you're having to use a mic on top of your camera, which really isn't the greatest to begin with, but um, just you're going to want to keep that in mind. You're going to be having a little bit of operation noise on this slider. So all in all, I would totally buy this myself. Um, I think it is really nicely landing in between really cheap sliders and really expensive stuff. It's strong, it's simple, it just works. So that is the FNV S100A slider and the A stands for advanced. Um, so you can go to their website, check out their other sliders, and I'll put a link to everything in the show notes on dslarvideoshooter.com. Stay tuned for more reviews and tutorials right here.